Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss the cardiac physiology in pregnancy or in general. Okay, sometimes you become a gynecologist, your vision becomes straightforward to looking into the points of gynecological importance. But what you forgot is general medicine. A general thing like cardiac cycle you forgot. You just, sometimes people just forget the name of valves the cardiac valves so what i thought is i should make a video on what basis of heart you should know heart physiology you should know uh, as a gynecologist if you forget everything if you forget this thing it's okay no problem just revise it you know it but you cannot just remember it uh, on the tongue so what you need to do is to see the video and uh, revise and uh, uh, mesmerize the things you already have learned now let's discuss the heart in pregnancy or heart in a general situation as you can see in this very complex picture this is a heart the heart has four chamber and I have made them very easy like this these are the four chambers this is right atrium this is left atrium this is right ventricular this is right ventricle left ventricle there are two uh, valves uh, there is a tricuspid valve between right atrium and right ventricle there is mitral valve between left atrium and left ventricle now from the uh, in the right atrium the venous return comes the venous return from the body now in the right atrium venous return from the systemic vasculature comes for example this is the body all body vasculature and the venous return in view of inferior and superior vena cava comes into the right atrium from blood from the right atrium goes into right ventricle by passing through tricuspid valve okay from the right ventricle the blood goes to the lungs with pulmonary artery Okay, this is the pulmonary artery and is going to the lungs. Okay, from lungs, the blood returns to the left atrium via pulmonary veins. Now, the pulmonary veins, blood goes from left atrium to left ventricle by passing mitral valve. And from the mitral valve, it will go to the body uh, vasculature via aorta okay now the pulmonary artery and aorta has valves that is called pulmonary valve and aortic valve now you have learned these things very from very very basics of your uh, uh, school but what i am going to talk taught you is something different if you see that there are four chambers in the heart but if you see Practically, there are two vascular systems, the pulmonary and systemic. One is the pulmonary vascular system and one is the systemic vascular system. The heart is divided into four chambers, but I will divide the heart into two parts, right heart and left heart. What is the function of right heart? The right heart contains right atrium and right ventricle. Okay. Now, what is the function of right heart? To feed the pulmonary system and what is the function of left heart that is that consists of left atrium and left ventricle to feed the systemic vascular system remember this thing what is the function of right heart to supply the blood to lungs what is the function of left heart to supply the blood to the body so what is the right heart function to pump the blood effectively through lung so that the blood can be oxygenated well there everybody knows that the lungs are the things where we get oxygen so what is the function of right heart pump the blood to the pulmonary circulation and get the blood oxygenated so if Suppose if right heart stops, the adequate oxygenation of blood cannot be done. 
okay if right heart stops oxygenation well not done if left heart stops the blood doesn't reach to the body parts adequately so if you see really the left heart has to pump the blood throughout the body so it must be a strong pump because if you see to pump blood in the body is not a very easy task so left heart needs to put the effort to make the all body parts get the blood uh, effectively okay now what is shunt what is shunt shunt are nothing but direct shortcuts between right and left side of the heart shunt are nothing but direct shortcuts between either right heart system or left heart system in the start every shunt is left to right why because left heart system that is left atrium and left ventricle aorta the pressure is more than pulmonary circulation more than left side of sorry right side of heart the left side of heart is a strong pump so the pressure blood pressure in the left heart system is higher than right heart system so whenever there is a shunt initially it will be from left to right because the pressure is more in left okay now so more and more pressure will be generated into right heart too so right heart which used to be lower pressure system now receives blood from left heart so this system also tries to become like left heart so the resistance the hypertension is more becoming more and more in in right heart system that is right ventricle so there will be pulmonary vasculature pulmonary hypertension and resistation and uh, sorry and uh, uh, resistance okay at some point of time the resistance of right heart system that is right atrium right ventricle and lungs becomes so severe that now shunt reversal becomes so the shunt now start changing from right to left so because the resistance in the right system becomes so great that at some point of time the shunt becomes from right to left and that is called eisenmerger syndrome the eisenmerger syndrome is what the reversal of shunt okay now remember once the right to left shunt develops or once the reversal of shunt develop all blood don't go through lungs okay because from right to left shunt is there the blood directly goes to the left from the right so blood does not go through lungs it will lead to unoxygenated blood that means the all the blood is not able to pass through the lungs so there will be unoxygenated blood is there and that will develop cyanosis what is cyanosis cyanosis happens because of unoxygenated blood the blood is not well oxygenated that's why the cyanosis come so whenever the cyanosis disease is there cyanotic congenital heart disease or cyanotic heart disease is there is always serious because there is already shunt reversal is there okay so this was all about i think the very basis of uh, cardiac system to understand thank you friends